It was quite the show on La Palma, as you could see on your screen from last night. Some of the crazier visuals you will get from this entire event. I've got the newest articles. I've also got you covered on earthquake updates. A big one took place in Greece today. And it looks like we're not the only ones thinking about meteor showers and or near-Earth objects. Our trusty algorithm seems to be thinking of it too. We are going to talk about the very interesting pattern that these mystery booms have been following in the Northeast. I hope you are all well on this Tuesday morning. We're going to break it all down right here, right now. Let's go. <laughs> Good morning slash afternoon, everyone. October 19th, 2021, 11.04 a.m. And really quick, take a look at this weird ad that I saw first thing this morning when I woke up to start doing my research. And right off the bat, I'm getting reminded of meteor showers. Tell me that's not odd. Little play on words there for advertising. Gotta love Google. All right, let's get into this. Before we talk about La Palma, I'm just gonna take a few minutes of your time and I wanna talk about the sonic boom situation once again that's been going on in the Northeast. We've also gotta keep in mind that at the same same time this was going on, NASA sent into space our new Earth defense system called the DART rocket. In a nutshell, this is meant to mimic the movie Armageddon and test our Earth defense systems of a possible incoming asteroid. Now, this is an interesting situation because not only have 90% of these been sonic booms and not earthquakes, but what's mind-boggling is that even the ones that are not earthquakes are still following the fault lines in the northeast or the eastern half of the United States. Basically, what I'm saying and your guess is as good as mine, but how do these meteors know and how are people hearing them directly over fault lines? Keep in mind, 90% of these are sonic booms and not earthquakes. Definitely a head scratcher, and I'm not saying this is 100% certain, but it certainly looks like meteors are attracted to fault lines. I hope you guys don't scorch me too bad in the comments. You are looking at La Palma literally waking up in front of your eyes this morning. That black smoke is all brand new. Seems like it took a little break this morning, but very much awake right now. The updated numbers on La Palma have been posted for the day, and one thing I want you guys to notice is not just the 2,000 buildings destroyed, it is finally being noticed that this eruption is the worst since at least the 1500s. One video that stuck out to me today is this one posted here, showing the slower lava moving and how it's unstoppable. It's this slow force that is just slowly taking over everything in its path. I'll grab the dial here and move it in kind of a fast motion so you can see what's going on here and the slow movement of this. And the force behind it is slowly taking out anything it comes in contact with. And it may not look as hot as that lava coming out of the mouth of the volcano, but I can assure you the heat is just as dangerous as the force. Just before sunlight came over, we had another earthquake take place, technically on the 17th, 3.4 magnitude. And then I want you to notice the 4.4 that happened after that. So this one happened at 1738 UTC, and then just a few hours later, we had the 4.4 take place at 2357. This is exactly why we are now seeing, as we go back to the live view of La Palma, this is why we're seeing the activity starting right now. It's usually about 24 hours before we start seeing the effects of the seismic activity off the island, moving towards the island, and then we have the beginning of yet another eruption. Before I let you guys go, I just want to touch base on this earthquake that took place in Greece. It's been downgraded to a 5.9. As you can see here, it was 41 kilometers in depth, fairly deep, but not only has Greece been getting a higher number of earthquakes lately, but I want you guys to notice just the location of it. It may not be on the western coast of Africa, but we're seeing a lot of bigger seismic activity going on in a much broader area, the northern half and northwest of Africa. Africa. Remember the 5.0s we had along the coast before the Canary Islands? So this entire area needs to be watched continuously. My friends, thank you so much for watching this video. I have a short message for you at the end. Any comments or concerns, please leave down below. Special shout out to Canada today, and I hope each and every one of you has a great day. I will talk to you all very soon and see you in the next video. Thank you all. Bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel and trust me you won't be disappointed